Hi everyone, this is Marianne with Akashic Inspirations and this is going to be the reading for Gemini for the month of June. So we are using the um, Goddess Tarot. I was looking for the box and I can't find it. <laughs> anyway, the Goddess Tarot cards by Chris Walter. <clears throat> and so there's a lot of it's funny, even though you guys are air and this is, you know, your time, but there's a lot about manifestation in this, in this spread. Lots of pentacles. So, what do we start with? We start with balance and yamana. Now, here in this in this spread, they call the cards uh, yamaya is normally how we pronounce it, but she has various names. So she is the goddess of the oceans, right? So she comes in as the temperance card. So she's got the waters coming from her hands and yet she is about to step onto shore. So she has that balance of the oceans along with bringing in the manifest. So she is a very propitious goddess to have on your side, right? Because she's very loving. She is the mother in the Orishas. Uh, she is the mother of all the gods and goddesses. So what does our mother not want for us, right? What What is our parents not want the best for us. So the second card that comes in, we've got the seven of swords here right in the middle. And she's having a hard time hearing five of the seven. She's got to leave the two behind and she's kind of looking over her shoulder like, man, I hope that don't come, doesn't come back to bite me in the butt, right? Um, but really it's about um, kind of juggling things, right? You're, you're in that, uh, maybe in a process of unsureness so you're not like really sure what to take, what to do, but it's going to be okay. So there's a part of you that needs um, a trust factor, right? You need to be able to trust that you've chosen the correct path and that by leaving these other things behind, that that is the right path for you. So then we go into the six. Okay, so here's the first of the pentacle cards. Here's we have the six of pentacles. And six, um, here we've got two of the women that are kind of like begging. And here's this beautiful woman. She's all in her fine robes and she has some jewelry on. So she's sharing the wealth with these two poor women. Now, um, what, what this kind of exercise is about is if you're going to share, if you're going to give, then give freely without the expectation of getting paid back like from those people like like she's just gonna give and she's gonna give freely she doesn't expect them to pay her back this is not a loan this is a gift this is her giving to others who are in greater need and because because she's coming from a place of the four of pentacles which is beautiful which is a very solid base so again she's got all her jewelry on right she's got all her jewelry she's holding her her wealth her pentacles she's got purple mountains so she has that spiritual connection along with the green of the heart center so her wealth is very stable right it's very secure and it's a great foundation for her um, to be able to or for I'm saying her because of the the goddesses but it, this is the energy for male or female for man or woman okay so don't get me wrong when I say her um, <clears throat> so it's about being stable right being secure in the knowledge of who you are and what you have and that, that the accepting of that role of security leads you to the Queen of Pentacles. Now, she is the closest thing to Gaia, to Mother Earth. She is, again, a, a, almost a goddess. Like, look at all. I mean, she's got, she is all jeweled up. Let's face it. She's just got everything she owns is on her, right? And she's got her pentacle right there. So, at her hands, you see her hands are face down and they're open. So that means that she's not hiding anything, right? She's she's fully, fully in the space of divine sharing, right? She she wants to share um, her wealth of knowledge, of wisdom, of of business. Like she would be a great mentor. Right? This is a woman who really embodies <clears throat> the sense of luxury, of abundance and prosperity. She is Lakshmi. Right? She is the goddess Lakshmi, in other words. Now, she's caring, um, kind of teaming up with the Queen of Cups. So, here we have this beautiful balance. Here's the balance, right? We have water and we have the earth. So, here we have the very uh, intuitive, 
very um, in touch with her emotions, compassionate, along with the queen who seems to have it all in abundance, right? So they're willing to come in and share those gifts, right? And share them equally, right? That's balance. And what that brings about, we've got the nine of pentacles. And here's this beautiful maiden. She's got you know, I mean, the just the strewn, like the coins are strewn in her path, and she has that dove of peace, and she's like feeding it, or it's coming to her. So it's like super moment of gratitude, appreciation for everything that you have in your life, right? This is how we actually gather more and nine of course is a number of completion so you feel complete you feel satisfied you feel happy and the last card we have is the king of swords so beautiful actually couple here right queen of cups and the king of swords so he's like the very analytical guy right he's the justice right he meets out justice he's very super fair um, in, uh, in all of his decisions, right? So beautiful balance. It really ties in with the balance card because here we have the balance of the male and the female bringing together a sense of super completion, right? It's like two, this is beautiful. It's like two twin flames who are whole unto themselves coming together and feeling and, and creating this new abundance and this new wealth, right? And this new sense of energy. So, man, what, a, what an amazing, amazing reading for you guys this, this month. It's just a beautiful, beautiful reading. <clears throat> now, for those of you who would like to get your own personalized reading, please look at the comments below if you're on YouTube or DM me if you're on Instagram or Facebook. Send me a message and we'll set up an appointment for you to have your own personalized reading. We have half hour and one hour readings. Half hour just never seems enough. So I highly recommend a one hour reading. Again, my special's going on at $99, so you can't go wrong with that. And so I wish you, Gemini, a fabulous happy birthday during this month. My brother's a Gemini, his birthday's coming up on the 19th. So happy birthday to my Gemini friends. And, um, I wish you many, many blessings. Namaste.